All right, so today we're going to be doing a couple things. We're going to make it so that when we first kill those first 20 enemies, the game will send us to a second level, which means that a couple things here. We need to build a second level. And then another thing is that we need some way to trigger that to happen. Now, the next thing that is going to uh, need to occur here is we're also going to need to make it so that when the game is reset, the global score is somehow being reset as well. Because right now, when we kill the final, when we kill an enemy and then we die, so there's an enemy dead, then I die, and you see my score is not actually being reset to 20. And the reason why that is is because this is actually being run inside of the project settings itself because it's that global.gd script, so those variables don't reset, okay? So if we go over to our label and we go to where we are doing things though, every time ready is run in here, we can actually go global.score equals global dot goal score and that right there will make it so that our uh, score is being reset every time this thing is being reset this label that holds all the text is being reset <coughs> the reason why we do it in here is because we can do it inside of this thing's ready and control when the score is being updated right after if we're doing something else is ready that ready might be run before this ready and then we have to start getting a little bit more complicated And as you can see, the score was reset. Now you can see inside of here that in global.gd, we have it so that if the score is less than or equal to zero, we actually just go into this uwin screen. Well, instead of doing it that way, why don't we actually just duplicate the scene that we're in, the aka the it doesn't matter scene. We just hit control D while we have it selected down here. And it'll say duplicating file. We'll just say level two as the name. And then instead of doing this, let's say get tree dot and I can't remember the name, so just write down scene, you'll see it'll say change scene or change scene two. Let's try change scene and see what it gives us. String path. And let's try change scene two and see what it'll give us. A packed scene. Go search the help. So we'll change the scene. Then looks like the easier of the two paths in there. So let's go back over to global.gd do change scene and then we just simply need a string path and we will just go like so and then if we change the goal score to something like one instead and there you go we got we changed the next scene on there easy peasy now uh, easier way to check this by the way is if we go into level two's TSEN and then we go into its label on here we can then do an export bar new goal and set that equivalent to what we want it to be equivalent to. So let's say, for instance, that we want it to be 15 on this level. And then we're going to go ahead and make the global dot goal score equivalent to the new goal. Right? Then if we go back to our first level, it doesn't matter. And that will also have the same variable built into it now. But if we go over to the label itself, we can set that to 1 on there. And now if we hit the play button, we should have the 1 still on here on the first level. Then we go and shoot a ship. And then as you can see, it went over to 15 because we're now on level 2. Now the next problem is that we actually can't go beyond the two levels because it automatically, as soon as we win now, goes into the second level always, right? So in order to fix that, we can just go to global.gd and we can actually run this whole thing within a new function. So we can just say goal reached, for instance. Then we can say if level, which we don't actually have built in here yet, so we'll make a bar variable called level We'll set that equivalent to zero, uh, equivalent to one to start off with in the game. Equals equals one. Then we want to do this, right? Elif. And right now, for now, we'll just do else because we don't have anything else really built in. We'll say print. You reach the end of the game. And this should give you all the knowledge that you need in order to really get this done and of course to call a function all you have to do is write its name and put the parentheses in there because we are not feeding it any parameters 
And that right there should do it. And then every time you just add a new level, you just go into your global.gd if level equals equals, and you just do an elif on here instead. Oh, and also, as soon as you go onto the next level, we actually want to say level plus equals one, like that. Now we no longer need to print the score after every enemy is killed. And that right there will pretty much bring us to the end of what I really wanted to pull off inside of this game. Um, there's still a couple of little things that I want to do just to, uh, you know, make the game look a little better and stuff. But for the most part, we've gotten to a pretty good place here. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. You guys know the drill. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.